What's up everybody? You're watching the Crucible Coach Works YouTube channel and today we're doing some translog work. As many of you know, we are tied to translog for Porsche and we are working on Derek Maluzio's, what is that, official roof modified, modified 996 turbo. Now we've already done, we painted and installed bumpers, we've installed the wheels, the uh, lowering springs, the sill plates, the seat belts. What else did we do? Custom colored seat belts yep. and, and painted the calipers to yep. match. Yep. Anyway, we have an exciting box that showed up from Germany from Roof themselves. We're going to be doing the muffler, turbos, and ECU to add the go to the show for everything we've done so far. The go to the show, I like that. Can we make that title of the video? <laughs> yes, Adding, yeah, no, that's the thumbnail right there. Thumbnail. Yep. Go Adding the, the go to the show. All right, right. well, let's cut open this let's box. Let's cut of tape. open this. Tape. They did a good job of weatherproofing this. It's a tape mummy. The tape mummy. It's, you know, we've gotten things from Italy that are from like wrapped in newspaper. And so, yeah, and they're this is definitely a cardboard step up. bags. There's no purse to go along with opening all this. <laughs> yeah. I think it's going to be a cutter. blessing instead. There we go. Oh boy. It looks like we got a muffler. Look at that. Roof. Roof. Okay, so these are the oil, the oil reservoirs for the turbos and some fittings, looks like. Okay, so we got waste gates here. We got turbo housing. I'm assuming this is all stuff that they replaced. We have, a, yeah, we have yeah. another compressor side. Another box coming yet. Okay, that'll be the turbos then. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah, I don't see an ECU. So and ECU and turbos. Yeah. Yep. ECU and turbo should be coming in the mail next. next. All right, so it looks like they took an OEM 996 turbo muffler. They gutted it, rebaffled the inside. They put different sport cats on it. And you can see if you look down at the, if you look down the exhaust tips as well, you can see how much bigger diameter the inside of that is compared to an OEM one. Now, many of you watching may not know how tight they are, but they're pretty restrictive. So this is going to probably sound much meaner. So yeah, they sent back the old turbo parts. That's what's in those boxes. The plus stuff they replaced. Yep. Yep. So waiting on the turbos and the ECU and we'll be able to fire it up. After you install it. Yeah, that part. <laughs> you, skip, you skip the biggest part.
you think, Tony? That sounds good. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. It definitely always, sounds oh. meaner than before. What were you saying? Sorry. I was just going to say it always sounds better on the road. That's true, <laughs> under load. Yes. On the road and under load. <laughs> TM. That should be a shirt. Gone. All right, so obviously I've been working on the slant nose and not on this car while it's been here. So Tony, can you explain a little bit what's been done this time the car's been in? It's because it's nice to recap. Yep, so this time around, we were doing engine performance mods. Uh, we shipped a few parts out to Germany, got them back. So DME, we did a tune, uh, turbos were upgraded. We got a roof muffler and that along with the air filter is their 475 package. Now, when I say 475 package, is it like 475 horsepower? Or is that like a, you know, it's just, yes. it's just a number that they put out there as a general statement? It's, I, it's how they label the package and I, I, they don't give any direct numbers, but I think the implication is, yes, 475 now, horsepower. I, I remember you mentioning, so uh, the owner actually has history with the Roof family, so they gave him a little bit of like preferential treatment, so it really is. There's no plan to take it to the dyno, but we kind of think it's probably just north of 500 horsepower. Is that wheel, what do you think, or, or crank? That would be crank. Crank. Either way, five over 500 crank is nothing to sniffle at, that's for sure. I mean, I've driven many a stock 996 turbo, and as they are, they're already pretty they overwhelming. They all perform well. Yeah, yeah. They, they're like, they, they are beautiful cars. I, if I had could afford a 996 turbo, I'd be driving one right now, because they're not only quick, they look nice, and they're pretty reliable, in my opinion, for a German sports car that is turboed. They will get the groceries. They will get the groceries. That's for sure. And maybe some tickets along the way. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Make sure you're liking, commenting, subscribing, and make sure you have notifications turned on, you know, that little bell or whatever, because we have another wide body project coming up soon. It is a Porsche, because obviously we do Porsche work here, and we try to stick to that, right, Tony? Yes, we do. Try to. Um, it is a Porsche, it is not a 996, so, why don't you guys guess? Guess in the comments below what you think what we're going to wide body next. And maybe we'll we'll pick a winner who guesses correctly. Or you can just say what Porsche you'd like to see us get our hands on. Um, we have a pretty cool, cool design coming out soon. So yeah, we'll be documenting that just like we have with the slant nose. And we also have other content coming up too, right, Tony? Like we have the- Hunting cart? Yeah, we have the hunting cart. We have the Goliath CNC that we're gonna go more involved with to use in our projects. We also have some other exciting collaborations that are in the mix as well. I obviously can't say anything about that. Someone will probably cut my toes off. I don't really know. I just, I can't talk about it. Either way, thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you in the next video, whether it's Wednesday or Saturday. I don't know which it's gonna be.